Hello my dear children and parents greetings from in this valley public school rat so my dear children here we will be doing a lesson from your first flight book in the name of the lesson is nelson mandela here in this lesson we will study a extract from his own biography that is long walk to freedom he had written this and in this lesson we will find an overview as to how nelson mandela along with others carved their way to a society where there will be no discrimination on the basis of their color caste race age or gender okay so now moving towards the lesson This chapter is an extract from the autobiography of Nelson Mandela who was born on 18th July 1918 the first black president of South Africa excerpt from long walk to freedom include description of an inauguration ceremony citations from his speech a journey to begin a freedom fighter the struggle along with a tribute to other freedom fighters and countless other people who fought for their freedom it gives an overview as to how nelson mandela along with others carved their way to a society where there will be no discrimination on the basis of their caste color race age or gender so my dear children we have seen he will he as a freedom fighter will tell his journey to become the first black president of south africa okay so now here first we will see it is a newspaper extract that was given on 10th may 1994 okay let's see what was mentioned in this Nelson Mandela has become South Africa's first black president after more than 3 centuries of white rule that means after 300 years more than 300 years Mr Mandela's African National Congress party won 252 of the 400 seats in first democratic elections of South Africa's history so out of 400 252 seats were given to Nelson Mandela The inauguration ceremony took place in Union Building Amphitheater in Pretoria today attended by politicians and dignitaries from more than 140 countries around the world never never again will this beautiful land experience the operation of one by another said Nelson Mandela in his address so now what happened here more than 140 countries the politicians had joined his celebration and all the higher hierarchy people had dignified people they have joined his celebration of inauguration so this is an extract uh, you can say this is an article in the newspaper the uh, after the celebration of his presidency ship jubilance uh, now uh, in his speech he said now it will, he will take responsibility that no other people or uh, should be suppressed on the basis of caste race or religion because this was happening before his presidency ship now it will not happen again jubilant seen on the streets of pretoria followed the ceremony with blacks white and colored celebrating together more than 1 lakh south african men women and children of all is sang and danced with joy so now it is for the first time where all the colors of people initially it was only white people now here all the white people your black people uh, means colored people and children they all were together and they all were celebrating they were all were singing and dancing together and having a very uh, happy scene on the streets of pretoria okay so this is what they are mentioned in this article now coming towards the explanation of the paragraph 
सो टेंथ में वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इट इज रिटन ऑन द आर्टिकल तो टेंथ में डॉन्ड ब्राइट एंड क्लियर फॉर द पास्ट फ्यू डेज आई हैड बीन प्लेजेंटली बिसेज बाय डिग्नेटरीज एंड वर्ल्ड लीडर हु वर कमिंग टू पे देयर रिस्पेक्ट बिफोर द इनोग्रेशन सो नाउ डेट वॉज टेंथ में हियर चिल्ड्रन डॉन मीन्स द मॉर्निंग टाइम और यू कैन से द डे बिगनिंग ऑफ द डे सो बिसेज टू बी सराउंडेड बाय डिग्नेटरीज मीन्स high people very important people of high rankers so now what happened here the day 10th may it was very good day very clear day very bright day and now here nelson mandela is saying that for the last few days means as he became the president so he was very much happy as he was surrounded with highly profiled people and the world leader who were giving him respect before the inauguration of the celebration so he was very much happy because uh, before he became the president uh, he was being jailed and after became president the people who have given the jail they were giving him respect okay so that's why he was very happy the inauguration would be largest gathering ever of international leaders on south african soil so this was this celebration was the huge celebration because after decades and decades a white sorry a black president was there on south african land and it was something very great thing that was happened so now its celebration was very enormous very huge on the south african soil why they said soil because in the south african land it is being celebrated उनकी कंट्री में ये चीज पहली बार सेलिब्रेट हो रहा था तो उसे सॉइल का नाम दिया गया नेक्स्ट द सेरेमनीज टुक प्लेस इन द लवली सैंडस्टोन एम्फिथ्रिएटर फाउंड बाय द यूनियन बिल्डिंग इन पिटोरिया फॉर डिकेट्स दिस हैड बीन द सीट ऑफ वाइट सुप्रीमेसी एंड नाउ इट वाज द साइट ऑफ रेनबो गैदरिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट कलर्स एंड नेशन फॉर द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीकाज फर्स्ट डेमोक्रेटिक नॉन रेशियल गवर्नमेंट So now here, children, sandstone means it's a sedimentary rock consisting of sand, or you can say quartz grain cemented. Different colors you can say of uh, you can say typically it is of red, yellow, and brown. Different color of stone decorated with the place amphitheater and open area, or you can say it's a theater, or you can say it's a hall where your functions has been conducted. Supremacy, another new word. It means uh, a condition. of being superior to other people or on the basis of power on the basis of status and all so now what happened so here this ceremony had taken place in a very big hall and that hall was made up of sandstone and uh, that hall is was in the union building of pretoria okay the union building of pretoria this function had taken place and for decay this had been the seat of white supremacy so now before nelson mandela became the president previously it was I mean this seat was belonging to the white people white supremacy means white authority was sitting on that seat but after that uh, after nelson mandela's uh, winning he became the uh, owner of that seat so after the decay uh, he became the owner of that So now what happened? As soon as he became, then it is a gathering of different color people, different colors and nation for installation of South Africa first democratic non-racial government. So now this time, as he uh, as uh, Nelson Mandela, he was a white first president of South Africa. So now he is going to have a, you can say, a democratic and non-racial government. Okay. next on that lovely autumn day i was accompanied by my daughter janani on the podium mr d clark was first sworn in and second deputy president so now what happened so on that lovely autumn day means on the day of uh, inauguration when nelson mandela was supposed to take oath of uh, president ship so first he uh, he accompanied with his daughter whose name was zanani and on the podium means where people used to stand and give the speech and address the people 
So here, first speech was given by Mr. D. Clark, and he was the vice, uh, you can say, president. And then Tabu Bekeki Mbeki, who sworn in as first deputy president. So first vice president had given the speech, the oath, and second the oath was taken by president, and they were the previous president. When it was my turn, so now it was the turn of Nelson Mandela. I pledge to obey and uphold the constitutions. Sorry, uphold the constitution and to devote myself to the well-being of republic and its people. So now is the time to take uh, Nelson Mandela the pledge. So he is saying that he has to take the pledge. So what he will say? He will obey and uphold whatever the norms of the constitution. and he is going to devote himself for the public for the people and he will abide the rules abide the law and he will work in the favor of the people to assemble guest and the watching world i said so now whosoever was assembled whosoever was gathered there at the time of inauguration then he addressed them he said them what he said let's see i said So your eyes, Nelson Mandela. What he is saying that today, all of us do by our presence here, confer glory. So confer means here. Glory means you can say uh, it's a shine, okay? Or what you can say the glory means hota hai uh, honor, something like that. Fine. So today, all of us do by our presence here, confer glory and hope to newborn liberty. So now liberty. What do you mean by liberty? Liberty means what? The freedom. Okay. So now what happened? For the first time, he is saying that. So here we have gathered, and we are going to grant the honor of freedom. मतलब यहाँ पे आप सबको freedom मिलेगी. Out of the experience of an extraordinary human disaster that lasts too long, must we born a society? Of which all humanity will be proud. So now, जो last में disasters हो चुके हैं, whatever had been happened last, okay? So now he is a previous ruler who were discriminate, uh, discriminatory or who were biased and lasted for long. मतलब जो वो काफी time से biasness कर रहे थे. So who were given opportunity to rule now? जो अभी तक opportunity जिनके पास थी rule करने की, जो biasness create करते थे, discriminations लाते थे. so now he will stand against that discrimination he is glad to host a ceremony with the presence of global leaders matlab wahan pe kafi countries ke or dignitaries aaye the to unke samne wo jo ceremony ho rahi is very happy to have that so now he is saying it is an achievement in itself uh, what the achievement let's see So now he is saying it is an achievement. We who were outlaw not so long ago have today been given the rare privilege to be host to the nation of the world on our own soil. So now he is saying uh, he is telling that so he is having a privilege where he can say he can do something for his own nation in his own soil and his own motherland. He is saying that thing. Okay, next. we thank all of our distinguished international guests for having come to take possession with the people of our country of what is after all a common victory for justice for peace for human dignities so now what he is saying that he is uh, thanking the people who had joined his celebration okay he is uh, very much happy uh, for the presence of global reader He is saying that it is an achievement in itself. There was a time when South Africa uh, lost all of its international political relationship. Now, when there is no segregation on the basis of race and gender, other nations are happy to have healthy democratic relationship. So, they have come to par and they pledge to make everyone proud. He thanked everyone. especially the international leaders for joining them in celebrating their achievements which is a step towards an equal society 
where every human will be treated fairly okay so now next we have at last achieved our political emancipations we pledge ourselves to liberate all our people from the continuing bondage of poverty deprivation deprivation suffering gender and other discrimination never never and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another the sun shall never set on so glorious a human achievement let freedom reign god bless africa so emancipation it means uh, you can say freedom free from all kind of social political restrictions then liberate i already told it is uh, freedom then bondage uh, you can the state of being a slave discrimination you know already differently treated people and deprivation means the damaging lack of material benefits and all operation means uh, unfair treatment okay and glorious means having worthy fame or admirations okay so now coming towards the explanation here uh dancel mandela mentions that after great struggle they have finally achieved political freedom his government promised to free everyone of the still existing party matlab jo bhi wahan party chal rahi thi usse freedom ho jaye then hardship and inequality of all kinds along with assuring every one of a country where no community will be considered inferior nobody will be uh, backward or something like that he then exclaims that freedom should rule and may god bless their land god should shower blessings on their land okay this is what told in his speech now next a few moment later we all lifted our eyes in awe as a speculator array of south african jet helicopters and troop carriers rode in perfect formation over the union bridge uh, sorry buildings it was not only a display of pinpoint precision and military force but a demonstration of the military's loyalty to democracy to a new government that had been freely and fairly elected only moments before the highest general of the south african defense force and police their chest bedecked with ribbons and medals from day days gone by saluted me and pledged their loyalty i was not unmindful of the fact that not so many years before they would not have saluted but arrested me Finally a chevron of impala's jet left a smoke trail of black red green blue and gold of the new south african flag so now what happened uh, here uh, he is saying that um, you can say how means amazed speculators mean beautiful uh, eye catching presentation troop a group of army precision means perfectly bedecked means decorated and uh, chevron it's given here a pattern in the shape of v so now what happened uh, just after the newly elected president uh, addressed to the audience he have given the speech an impressive arrangement of fighter jets helicopters and soldiers uh, transported raised everyone head up in the sky so means there was beautiful arrangement of jets जो कि आप लोग ने देखा होगा रिपब्लिक डे की परेड में सोल्जर्स uh, 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 जो भी आर्मी मैन होते हैं पुलिस मैन दे परेड करते हैं फायर जेट्स एयर में जाती हैं हेलीकॉप्टर्स निकलते हैं तो सिमिलर इट वाज हैपनिंग देयर ठीक है सो इट सिंबलाइज परफेक्शन एज वेल एज मिलिट्रीज रिस्पेक्ट एंड ओबीडियंस टूवर्ड्स द फ्री कंट्री सो इट इज दैट इट इज़ अ सिम्बोलिक रिस्पेक्ट टूवर्ड्स द कंट्री द हाई कमांडर्स who have won medals for their bravery means their chests were overloaded with medals and all that means they have won their medals for their bravery also saluted and promised their loyalty to mandela okay 
so mandela mentioned that he was well aware that these commanders who were now saluting him have arrested him under the previous rule theek hai pehle jab white people ka rule tha to nelson mandela ko inhi logon ne arrest kiya tha jo aaj use salute kar rahe hain okay so he was considered because he was considered to be a criminal so the air shows finally ended by making the south african flag in the sky by the smoke beneath the jet and different different jo colors usme se nikal rahe the jets mein se black red green blue and gold they were forming south african flag the day was symbolized for me by the playing of our two national anthem and the vision of the white singing and kosi sikilik a african ant black singing thy stem and old anthem of republic so now they were singing the old song of uh, republic or uh, whatever the national song of africa so what happened although that day neither group group knew the lyric of the anthem they want despite they would soon know the word by heart so now what i other remember the day as the playing of two national anthem of the country one of the white and other of the black so two national anthem was sung on that particular day on that day no one knew the wordings of the anthem of the black matlab wahan pe white ka hi national anthem hota tha to sabko wo tha jo black walon ka national anthem hua to wo kisi ko pata nahi tha but mandela was confident nansen mandela was very much confident that everyone would soon learn this anthem that they once hated to unko jo black people ka national anthem to jo hate karte the wo bhi ab logon ko by heart karna padega and for this nansen mandela was very much sure now one on the day of the inauguration i was overwhelmed with a sense of history in the first decade of 20th century a few years after the bitter anglo boer war and before my own birth the white skinned people of south africa patched up their difference and erected a system of racial domination against the dark skinned people of their own land the structure the created formed the basis of one of the harsh most inhuman society the world has ever known now in the last decade of the 20th century and my own eighth decade as a man that system had been overturned forever and replaced by one that recognized the right and freedoms for all people regardless of the color of their skin so now what happened overwhelm means or having a very strong emotions erected means constructions or you can say will be to build then racial domination when people of one race have power over another race overturn means reverse so now what happened here on the day of inauguration ceremony means when the ceremony was going on the author was remembering the days of past usko past ki baatein yaad aa rahi thi what when this whole system was apartheid emerged means emerged matlab jahan pe racial discrimination hua karta tha past mein that the author uh, sorry nansen mandela was recalling it resulted in inequality and inferior treatment of dark skin people jinka dark skin ya black color ke people hote the unko inferior treatment diya jata tha they were deprived on their basic fundamental rights as a result one of the world most brutal and inhuman society was born us samay pe bahut hi zyada brutal aur inhuman cheeze unke sath hoti thi cruel cheeze hua karti thi so now he is saying that ki this began even before he was born matlab jab nelson mandela born nahi hua tha uske pehle se these all were the practices going on this system created an atmosphere of extreme cruelty and injustice for a particular part of the community so now when he is in high in his eighth decade as a man he along with countless other have changed this entire system that treat human as humans irrespective of their color caste gender or age okay so that day had come about through the unimaginable sacrifice of thousands of my people 
people who suffering and courage can never be counted or repaid i felt that day as i have on so many other days that i was simply the sum of all those african patriots who had gone before me that long and noble line ended and now began again with me i was pained at that i was not able to thank them and that they were not able to see the what their sacrifice had brought so you an imagination means hota hai very impossible to think patriots the person who support their country and, and then you can say uh, brought means brought okay so now coming towards the explanation of this paragraph so here uh, uh, this equal and free country now here as uh, nelson mandela became the president so now it this become equal and free country and it was a result of sacrifice of countless other men and women who have fought all their life for this day so there as it was a sacrifice of many people as they have fought for this day so now uh, nelson mandela wishes if he could thank them all matlab wo to sab dead ho chuke but uh, he can thank them unfortunately they did not live to see the result of their courage means uh, uh, these people who had died they cannot see the uh, this thing no this beautiful day because they have sacrificed their life so now mandela gathered his courage and power from all these people and thus wishes uh, to make them proud and he is wishing them he is thanking them to make them proud okay so uh, my dear children i hope you have understood this part and uh, if anything that is not clear to you do message me and get the clarification okay next part we will be discussing what happened after that okay so thank you so much for watching the